All right, here's our uh, course where we're gonna be shooting, one of our shooting bays. Some other ones out there, but it's pretty much in the middle of a cornfield and uh, some paintball fields too. All right, on my command, you will turn. Engage the target with two shots. And then back to safe and low ready. Fight! Good, back facing range right. Fight! Good, face range left. Fight! Face back. Up range. There we go. All right. Counterclockwise. So on your left toe. Here's ready. Fight. All right. Back to safe. Back facing up range. Fight. Back to safe. Facing up range. On your right foot, fight! On your right foot, fight! Fight! Good. All right. All right, so I go, right, and nothing happens here. Okay? Yep. So instead of trying to feed my tube here when this guy is running in, I can lay this over, right? And I can take my round here, drop it in, send it here, and I can shoot it here. Okay? So what that can mean is I can actually do it very quick right from here. Okay? Okay, I can do them right like that. I don't have to come all the way up here if he's rushing. Okay, so try that too when you guys run out of a reload. So same thing, 180 or? Yep, so, all right, guys ready? Left foot, fight. All right, face range left. This is range left, yep, fight. Uh. Range right. Range right. There you go. Fight. Okay, make it hot fast. Good. Okay. Fight. Ah. You try it? Yeah. <laughs> it works. Yeah, I left it on purpose to try and see how I do. I had to shoot around the barricade this way, right? So there's two types of two ways that you can transition. Okay, so I want to keep the gun on target. So I can either move shoulders first and then transition my, my firing hand, or I can transition my firing hand and then move shoulders, okay? So there's both ways, right? Here and then here, or I can do here and then here. Totally depends, okay? Once we've got We've done some transition, okay? Then what we'll do is we will do some slug changeovers in the wrong hand, okay? So slug changeovers, again, is for, you got the 870, you have the Mossberg, so the Mossberg will lose around, okay? So what we'll do is we'll have the, the you guys are both shooting red? Yep. Yeah. Okay, all right. So we'll just pretend, we'll pretend one of them is gonna be your slug. You'll have your butt, your slug be the one that goes bang. Make sense? All right. Fight. Slug goes bang. The problem is I lose two, right? Yep. 
you have one in the chamber, you'll lose two, and you're going to lose one. Alright, set it back up again. Full chamber, full two. Plug changer. Fight! <laughs> that was a good work. I tried to I try to do two at once, you know, but maybe better this way. Yeah, yeah. Typically, if you rack it back and surf it this way, bam. Yep. That surfs it out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let you do this the easy way to begin with. So go ahead and make it ready. Okay. Transition over to your left side. Okay, now, remember, everything that you just did has to be done with the other hand. No cheating. No taking that left hand and doing everything with the right hand. Okay? All right. Plug changeover on the left. Right. Go ahead and from your right shoulder. Okay. I'm just going to tell you the shoulder and I'm going to tell you what to shoot. Okay? Left shoulder, butt shot. Left shoulder, slug. Alright, you guys did pretty good on that. Your finger itself is going to act as a counterbalance to keeping it from flipping totally up. Okay? That's not the hard part about one-handed operations. Okay, one hand, the hard part about one-handed operations is when now all of a sudden you've shot them all and now it's empty. Okay, so a couple different things you can do. Depending on if you're not mobile, right? You can run it here, like here. Okay, so you'll have to get to the point now to be able to do that. The other thing that you can do is... Um, so before reloading, JR, so how do you, what's your suggestion for racking the, sli or racking the slide down, or uh, the pump one hand? So you can either... Still have to go down and do it that way. You can either do it, do it this way, right? Or if you're running, okay, you can maybe do it here, okay? And you might have to do that, okay? You're just gonna have to get somewhat creative on this. What I do is, if I'm moving, I'll bring it here, rack it here, and then let the, the gravity of it, okay, come back to doing this, okay, because it won't redo this now because the slide's locked. But here, okay, as I can do that, I have the ability to kick that round out well, right, and here now I can load the next one if I need to, and here the gravity will keep that muzzle downrange. Make sense? So that's the big key on this, is I've got to maintain my muzzle discipline while I'm doing this, okay? okay. So we're going to do it dry a little bit. Fire two shots. Fight! What? Keep working. Keep working it. One handed. Work it. Fix it. One handed. Oh, one. <laughs> Keep it one handed. <laughs> All right. Work through it. There you go. You're not driving the slide all the way forward. It's all the way forward. I think my gun's gone bad. Does it feel like a? No, try. Right, go ahead and shoot one regular, just to make sure. What's that? Time out. Whoa! Wait a minute. Dude. Hold up, bad guy. Right. There you got it. Huh? Yeah, we'll keep trying. <laughs> All right. Is that something that? Because I know on that time when he shot, does that have something to do with it? it? Blew the pump halfway back. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, the mos it's done that before where the recoil will send the bolt back. Could be a malfunction gun too, I don't know. Interesting. Alright, 
two shots, left-handed only. Fight. Or what I can do is from here I can just drive my knee down to here. So my feet didn't even move. Mm -hmm. I just basically spun, drove the knee down. And do the same way okay. um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot as we're moving down, if that's what the tactical environment calls for. Okay or I'll shoot once I get there. For this, we'll shoot one high, one low, okay? okay. All right, so I'm gonna tell you how many as you take a knee. I want you to try each of the four knees. So one, your left foot will go forward, you'll drop to a knee. One of them, your right foot will go backwards and you'll drop to a knee. One, you will spin and drive your right knee into the ground. One, you will spin and drive your left knee Make sense? All right. Line is hot. Eyes and ears. All right. Taking a step forward and dropping to a knee. Shot high and shot at the knee. Fight. Fight. Good. This time you will spin and drive the right knee down. Two shots. Fight. These knee drills, this twisting knee drill, also helps find out if you're properly squared up to your target, okay? Because if you have one foot backwards, trying to do the knee, that front knee down gets kind of winky sometimes, okay? All right, right knee. Good, left knee. Left knee in the dirt. <laughs> Okay, the wall is straight in front of you. Left knee. Go. Good. The wall is straight in front of you. Right knee. Okay, good. All right. The next thing we can do is we can go all the way to prone. Right? The basic way to do this is Keeping our barrel at the target, right, is as we come down, I basically just go into a squat, okay, and you can either roll forward, right, just roll forward onto the ground, or what you can do is you can basically do a one-handed Superman push-up, okay? So the gun stays on target, the foot drives down, the legs kick backwards and you lower down. Make sense? So one shot high, one shot at prone. Fight. Okay. This time, you're going to do the same thing, rolling forward, but you're going to take a shot right-handed high, and as you're going down, you're going to transition to the left shoulder to shoot around a barricade prone. Understand? Fight. Totally different shooting low than it is shooting high, isn't it? So straight down. There you go. Perfect. Good. Good. So that's the two ways to get prone. Okay. Obviously, rolling forward is going to be more comfortable usually. Um, it, you know, it takes less upper body strength and stuff. But if the tactical environment so dictates, that may not be what you have. Okay. Especially around a car is when you're going to do that. So you're behind your, you know, the hood of your car or whatever. You take a shot, 
shit, so he's, you know, whatever. Now what I'm gonna do is I can skip around. Changing uh, uh, horizontal elevation, right? <clears throat> and the next one is what we hope to do is moving towards cover. Okay? That's ideally what we The other two ways that we can move is we can press the fight or we can retreat. Okay? So that's the four types of movement. Oh, thank you. Um, with forward movement, it's relatively simple, right? Just keep that, that uh, barrel level as we're moving. With horse, or with lateral movement, um, there's two ways we can laterally move. Depends on how far we have to move, right? So if it's just basically getting off of the line of attack, I just can step. If I'm stepping sideways, same way with the handgun, right? I've got a good athletic base. Um, I don't come here and then step because I don't want caught in the un, you know, this position here. So I'll step here. I'll take a wider base and square my base back up. Okay, that's how I step. It's not as efficient. One buck. Left. One slug. I don't know about that. me.
Thought that was fun. Guess what the next one? Left-handed, one arm. <laughs> Left-handed. Yeah, on a good sunny day. Better than asphalt, I guess. Yeah. Um, you're gonna start one slug kneeling on the right, one slug kneeling on the left. So I gotta clear of a chamber. Yep. Ready? <laughs> and this is a timed evolution. I'll tell you as it, but you're going for time. Okay. Ready? Fight. One slug. On the other side. Fiddle with that elevator. Because I had one in the chamber. The thing is, the uh, I have to eject it all the way back to get what's in the chamber out. Then I have to take out the other one, reset the elevator, then put one in. Complicated. <laughs> Try it again, I guess. Yep. Ready? Go. Oh, that was forward. Buckshot as you're moving. Okay, two buckshot standing on each side. Can you reload? Moving to the other two buckshot as you move. Okay, I'll shot on each side of this one standing. Buck shot on each side. Oh So, buckshot is on. Okay. All right. So, kneeling, slug on both sides. Okay. Ah, now I've ran out. I have to go slugs. Okay, as you move, two. Okay, over there, right side, two, left side, two. Okay. Alright, two, move back here. Ah, oh, empty. Oh, I should have carried the yep. bag. So, like I said, even with that, Yep, you're gonna run out. Yep. Unless I used all mini shells, maybe. <laughs> awesome. After reviewing the KSG when we were done, I noticed the damage to the V6 muzzle brake. This is not due to the quality of the V6. It seems that when shooting prone and reloading one handed, that the small gravel got inside the holes. And when shooting, the gravel caused the damage when the route was shot. I still prefer and recommend the V6 for the ultimate recoil reduction and minimal muzzle rise.